Hi, welcome back to 101 Things. In this video, I'm going to build an FM radio using an RDA 5807M module. You can buy these modules online very cheaply, and they contain a single chip FM receiver. You could use pretty much any microcontroller for this project, but I'm going to stick to my favourite, the Pi Pico. They're pretty cheap, and I've got loads on hand. Most of the modules you buy look a bit like this. It contains the chip itself, a crystal, and a couple of discrete components. You need to supply it with power and connect an antenna. There's two pins for the audio output and there's two pins for the I2C bus to connect to the microcontroller. Unfortunately the pins are quite a small pitch so you can't connect it to a breadboard very easily. These modules are intended to be soldered directly to a PCB but you can connect to them with small wires and solder. You need to be a little bit careful though, they're quite delicate to start with, I just want to build a very minimal circuit. I just want to connect the radio module to the Pi Pico and just make sure that everything's working. OK, let's talk through the circuit. The circuit starts with the radio module. The module needs a power supply between 2.7 and 3.3 volts. The most convenient way to power the module would be using the 3.3 volt output from the Pi Pico. But when I tried this, it was too noisy and the radio just didn't work. For these initial experiments, I used two AAA batteries to give a simple low noise supply. The radio module is capable of driving 32 ohms directly. This means we can connect it straight to some headphones without using any kind of external amplifier. I use a standard 3.5mm stereo headphone jack. You also need a couple of quite large capacitors to block any DC. I use 10 microfarads in my design. The antenna couldn't be simpler. It's just a piece of wire. About 750 millimeters is the right length for the FM broadcast band. The final component is the Pi Pico. The FM radio module is very self-contained. The Pi Pico is just acting as an interface to control the module. We're not pushing the Pi Pico to its limits in this design. Performance isn't at all critical. We don't need the speed of C or C++, so it makes sense to use the power and simplicity of MicroPython. To program the radio, I'm using Thony. It's a very simple Python IDE. It's a very easy way to program the Pi Pico or other devices using MicroPython. I've added some more details about how to get Thony and how to install it in the documentation. Once you've installed Thony, it only takes a couple more clicks to install MicroPython. I've written a simple library to control the FM module in MicroPython. I've also written a simple application that uses the USB serial port to control the module. If you'd like to find out more details about the MicroPython software, there's a link to the code and the project documentation down in the description. Now let's download the code. I'm using a script to send the Python files to the Pi Pico. I can now use the screen application to connect to the Pi Pico using the serial port. I press Ctrl D to exit the interpreter. Now I can test out the radio module using a few simple commands. Check out my shelves. Sturdy as a... Trev, I think you might need a drill. Sharpish. Argos.co.uk The King has been urged by a member of the public to keep going strong as he greeted well-wishers after attending the Easter Sunday service at Windsor So now we've connected the radio module to the Pi Pico. We've got some MicroPython code to interface with it and it's working nicely. Now let's try building a standalone radio. There's lots of room for experimentation here. You could build a retro style radio or perhaps integrate an FM radio into another project. I'm going to go for a pocket sized radio that runs on batteries. I'm going to modify some PCBs that I use in other projects to add a small OLED display and some buttons to the Pi Pico. I'm also going to add a stereo audio amplifier based on a TPA2012 IC. It's a class D amplifier that can output two watts per channel. Because it's a class D amplifier, it's also very efficient, which is great for portable applications. I also found a way to filter the 3.3 volt output from the Pico so that it was clean enough to power the radio module. If you'd like to see more details about the design, including the schematics and the parts list, there's a link in the description.
Okay, so there it is. We've built an inexpensive pocket-sized FM radio using a cheap radio module and a few simple parts. I've included links to the circuit and the MicroPython code in the description. So, if you fancy building something similar, why not give it a go? If you've enjoyed watching this video, why not subscribe? We've got lots more projects like this one on the way. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.